Hello everyone and welcome back to Switchwatch for another game review. This one is Moonfall Ultimate, the game is developed by Fishcow and has been published by Wales Interactive. If you want to get the latest Nintendo Switch game review straight to your inbox, then why not consider subscribing? Is this one worth your hard earned cash? Let's jump in and find out. As Moonfall Ultimate begins, we are treated to a cutscene that sets the background to a kingdom risen above its small and humble background by a fair and exceptional king. Upon his death, the savages set in and different factions are poised to cause havoc in the inevitable power struggle. You play the role of a recruit across the campaign's 13 missions. Sadly, I felt cheated. This initial story had me expecting a classic and epic RPG tale that never materialises. The story takes a back seat past this intro and it does seem like a wasted opportunity. Moonfall Ultimate is a 2D action RPG inspired by games like Golden Axe. You get to play as one of three classes, Vanguard, Elementalist or Shadow, each with their preferred playstyle and special skills. As you progress you get to delve into a skill tree and find rare weapons and gear to strengthen your character in order to tackle quests and progress with the campaign. These are all classic tick boxes for a solid action RPG but unfortunately the game is plagued with issues that lead to a lacklustre experience throughout. Starting with controls, the movement of your character and enemies just doesn't feel right. You move with the left stick and can face left or right with awkward diagonal movements. There is only one speed and the hand drawn graphics don't improve the rigid feeling of this experience. This isn't helped by the fact that your spells can only be shot left or right. If you are not lined up with your enemies perfectly, your skills will harmlessly miss, adding to an odd sense of depth, something that was certainly around in the Golden Axe days but just doesn't feel right here. You use ZL to shield yourself and ZR to attack with your main weapon. A activates your currently equipped skill. Oddly, you have other skills on a quick bar, but need to equip them by pressing Y, X or B, and then when equipped, press A to activate the skill. As an elementalist, this is especially odd, as you need to equip a spell to use it, then equip another spell to use that, and it just ends up confusing and, well, time consuming. Why you can't just use A, X, Y and B to cast these skills, I really do not know. The game gives you a number of tasks in the form of quests. These are typically killing X number of mobs or escort generic character A to point Y. The story is lacking here and it feels very much like the early levels of an MMORPG from the early 2000s. Because of the awkward controls and setup, the combat just isn't very enjoyable, which is a real shame when you consider that there are over 60 unique mobs, a bunch of spells and skills to unlock, rare items and a generally well-crafted open game world. In this ultimate edition of the game, we are given the pleasure of couch co-op. It is certainly a welcome addition and I can see this being the best way to play for most people, though in truth, we didn't stick in it for too long as we grew a bit bored having played through the same areas in single player. We are also given an endless mode in which you need to kill all the enemies in a small area before proceeding to the next screen and carrying on. The background music in Moonfall Ultimate isn't too shabby, there are a number of tracks and they do fit the industrial gothic vibe pretty well. There is some background noise here, although there's not that much variety, but where the audio lets us down is in the sound effects department. Whacking a monster with a sword needs to have a certain weight to it, and slinging a fireball and mob needs to feel like you've thrown petrol onto a barbecue. But we are missing the oomph and every time I threw a fireball it felt like throwing a match an elephant on a rainy day, it just wasn't quite up to scratch. Now before we jump into the visuals and performance I've got a little spoiler alert for you. You may have realised this isn't the best RPG game out there and it might not be for you. If that's the case and you're thinking about heading somewhere else why not check out one of our videos up above. Stardew Valley, Enter the Gungeon, these are some amazing RPGs on the Nintendo Switch. Individual hand-drawn images sounds great and there are definitely nice touches here with the visuals. The backgrounds have a watercolour painting feeling that I like and some of the mobs, especially some of the beefier ones later on, look really good. I always like it when you can change weapons and see the change on your character as well. I did find the colour palette used was really drab though with a lot of browns and muted greens and greys which are likely on purpose to fit the gothic theme but are overall just a little bit boring. Layers really stand out but in a bad way interactable items stick out like a sore thumb and your character and enemies have the same stuck on quality. When you combine that with janky animations the result is just not pleasing on the eye. And worse I did experience some lag 
when there was quite a bit going on, though I will say the game performed pretty well in handheld mode. You cannot argue that there are multiple modes and difficulties, multiplayer is on offer and there are three different classes to give you choice. So from that perspective the value is very fair. On the flip side I can't imagine many people falling in love with the game and playing it through more than once if that. More polish would certainly have been welcome. So overall what do I like about this game? Well it's not got a bad soundtrack, classes, skill trees and RPG staples are all here. On the flip side what don't I like? Well there is a wasted story opportunity. It's lacklustre and sluggish gameplay and janky visuals. Overall, Moonfall Ultimate has all of the ingredients of a hit. A classic storyline and local cop play, RPG classic elements and grind, but it, it just doesn't quite work. The game has a hollow feel and enough frustrating parts to it that make this one a tough sell given all of the excellent RPGs on the Switch. So for me, it's a disappointing 4 out of 10. If you want to check out some other awesome RPGs, hit one of our links up above. Did you like this video? Did you enjoy it? Give us some comments and feedback. We'd love to see what you think. And if you did enjoy this video, hey, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. I'll see you again soon. I'm James Amaro. This is Switchwatch. Take care.